Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hi guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Sorry we <laughs> didn't get the video up yesterday. Yeah, and Clint wanted to share something really yes, quick. Yes, Miss Leslie bought me, sent me a quilting book. Hi Leslie. Hi Leslie, thank you so very much. It's really neat, it's got some of the history of them too. He loves history. So, I, I love history, so I'm really excited. I've already looked through it like three times. So. <laughs> but I just wanted you to know, thank Leslie, and, and it sure do, meant a lot that um, you gave that to me. So, I just so, want to tell you thank you. Leslie got him that for his birthday. Yes. So, that was a surprise, Leslie. He was really excited. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, we are going to work on uh, decorating this journal today, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, I'm not going to do it all uh, in front of you guys, but I wanted to do some of it because yesterday when we were out running around, I kind of um, came up with a few other ideas that I wanted to do. And wrote them in my book. So that's what we're going to kind of do today. Just something new. And you know, I was thinking, oh, I need to do something different instead of doing them all the same. You know, like my secret tuck spots and secret journaling spots, things like that. I wanted to do something a little different, not a whole lot. But I wanted to get this wiped up so we ended up working uh, it wasn't too bad and we didn't see very many people we didn't go to any grocery stores or anything like that so you know we didn't put ourselves in harm's way or anything but and i did update some of you guys on if you're in my facebook page the facebook is um little acres no it's not <laughs> that's our other job it's um the Rambling Crafters with an S on Facebook. So, I got this from, oh, I can't even think of who it was. It wasn't a Gail, it was a uh, Gwen. Gwen Castile, I think is who it was. And I use it, and a lot of times I'll write down like little pieces I want to use in there like notes for um or locating things like that but i have a couple of items here that i wanted to do and so like yesterday when we're running around we spend a lot of time in the car like hours in the car and uh so i thought oh i should write that down and in between my naps i'm one of those who likes to sleep in the car so but when I thought of something, I'd be like, oh, I want to do that. So, uh, this morning I printed off some more of, um, I think it's called the Rose Garden. I can't remember. But from um, Tina's kit, because I wanted to use a couple of them. And my cardstock wasn't thick enough, or it was too thick to go through my printer. So what I did is I printed it on that really pretty Red River paper because it's so bright and cheerful. And then I just put that, I just glued it on to my um, cardstock because I needed some a little bit thicker, or yeah, thicker for what I'm going to do. Now I am going to make my um, kind of hidden tuck spot, but we're going to kind of change it up a little bit. Because, like I said, I wanted to kind of do something just a little different. And But we had a pretty good day yesterday. It was just a long, long day. And we got up at 4. And I was so exhausted when we got home. We both were. We got home around 1. But, and then they brought our um, hot water heater. Because, you know, that went out last week about this time and it takes longer to do anything when you have to boil hot water <laughs> so I always shower before I leave the house so I had to boil hot water for a bath and 
yeah it was just an exhausting day and by the time we got home i was like honey i just don't feel like making a video and he said i don't either so but i did kind of update some people because if you're like me right now especially with everything that's going on if somebody's not posting a, a video you're like oh no what's going on <laughs> that's how i am right now so it's like i hope they're okay <laughs> Or they don't, you know, like send me a message or something. So, I said, so we thought, well, we'll send you a message and just tell you. It wasn't going to happen today. So, I cut the white off. I, I couldn't get it all the way to the top, which was fine. <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut this down. Um, probably about, because our pages are five and a half. So, if I cut it down to four. Five, I think that would work. I think I always do it a little bit shorter than that. So I'm going to do four and three quarters. And I don't think it's straight anyways. Let's do five. And then I can straighten it up if I need to. But yeah, it was just, it was a nice day. Mm -hmm. And then they took, we were trying to take a nap because we were both just totally exhausted. I felt like that side was a little bit off. And um, we were trying to take a nap and the guy called and said we're on our way and so Clint couldn't take a nap <laughs> he kind of thought oh they'll be here and then wasn't it like an hour later yeah, he could have taken a nap but <laughs> so you've probably seen this many many times if you watch my channel so I just cut a piece of paper down let me just kind of and it's just going to fit here, but then we're going to cut like a slit right here. So, and I typically do about half inch to an inch. And I use my cutter, you could use an X-Acto knife. And then instead of going like, boy, they're loud. Yeah, they are. Right to the edge, I go about a quarter of an inch or so away from the edge. And kind of slice it. And then I just move it up, just like quarter of an inch or so and then just kind of do it like that there we go so there's a slit there and then we're going to cut that out of course I didn't think to grab all my scissors and stuff you can tell I'm not that There's organized those are the ones I needed thank you but yeah it was just but we had we had a good day we haven't put the hot water heater in yet but that's gonna be today's project so yeah. after Clint snap he says <laughs> which is fine I mean what's another couple of hours of not having hot water it's not that big of a deal we have the hot water heater yeah it was it took a lot out of Clint yesterday and uh, his back and stuff has really been hurting and stuff my hands itching. I don't know why so Let's go ahead and put this in here uh, it's the exact same as this one which is fine but I don't want it in the first signature because I want to kind of mix it up so let's go maybe to the middle one and what I'm trying to do is not put like two um, decorations side by side so I am kind of looking at that and then you know anything else that I want to cover up like this one's a good one mm -hmm. and I like this paper because I love putting um, music paper and stuff in but you can't really use it so I don't mind going over it and this is a pretty sturdy paper so it's not going to cause any issues so I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm going to just glue this down but yeah um, I think we only ended up with four locates yesterday we did stop by at a home style um, kind of diner type thing and got lunch because we were starving and she said that they had been pretty busy so that they were very cautious, so we weren't too concerned about, you know, eating out and stuff. Well, it's takeout. It's not really oh carry yeah, out. it's definitely a carry out because you know that's that's 
required these days. So Clint got a couple of fried burritos and I got some tacos because I was afraid the fried burritos, which I love, but would uh, max out my points. So, but he said they were really good mm -hmm. and my tacos were pretty good even though I had tacos for dinner the day before. They're a little bit different than what we make at home, so I was happy with that. <coughs> Clint's loving on little Artie. <laughs> now, if you wanted to, you know, if I would have thought about it, I probably would have inked around the edges of this, but I think it's fine. So, and I will put some um, orders in the mail today. We'll get them ready to go in the mail. Things just all of a sudden got busy. I think it's the hot water heater and <laughs> all that. And yeah, boiling water. I told Clint, man, it is, you know, it takes so much out of you boiling water. It makes you really appreciate what you have when you have <laughs> it. It's hard to think about in the olden days when we have to bathe in the stream. In the streams. I was like, mountains. oh, heck no. Because I took a bath and I was like, man, it's cold. <laughs> so I want to go back to that page. And my other idea, too, was to kind of do like a sideways one, which I thought would be kind of interesting. I haven't ever done that. And I don't want it to be like super, you know, taken up super amount because I want a pocket there. So I think I'm going to cut it here and here at the bottom. That'll give me some other pieces I can use as tags or something. So I'm going to just kind of, like I said, this is just something I thought up when I was thinking. Um, <laughs> Sorry. When I was, I was thinking. thinking. <laughs> when I was thinking about decorating. He didn't let me finish. Oh, Brad. Well, it wasn't as funny. <laughs> Was it Mr. R? I'm kind of ready for him to go take a nap. I am too. Well, my eyes started getting heavy. <laughs> oh, you well, guys. Well, I don't feel very good at that moment. Of course, then I cut it down too low. Evidently, she wasn't thinking hard enough. <laughs> she oh, no, I was going to do it like this. <laughs> See? See? You never know. I tell you guys, I was doing it the right way. I was just... Uh, Clint got me all discombobulated. Oh, don't blame me. Huh. Huh. She always blames me because it's your So, it's because you're always, yeah, they know. An instigator. An instigator. Or the one, a turd. <laughs> yeah, who says that? Uh, no. Gwendolyn? No, that wasn't Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn didn't, isn't the one that called you a turd? No. Hmm. It was like Barbara. It was like Barbara. Hmm. Oh, no. I don't remember. That. But it's true. Me, That's true. Yeah. Yeah, he is who he is. Sometimes it's annoying. Just kidding. Sometimes I don't give a rat. <laughs> oh, all the time I don't give a rat. No, you don't, do you? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is that's going to be a pocket here, but I also want to put a slit here. And then we'll have another, like, journaling spot. So, secret journaling spot. So, this, like I said, this was just an idea I had. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> I was thinking about something else. But, I need to do this part first. Do what, Daddy? Probably got to. Clint's back has really been hurting. Most of the people were... Um, Really nice. They stayed away from us that yeah. we did see. I was teasing Clint and I said, he acts like I have the plague. And then I laughed and said, I might. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, but it was funny because you'd walk towards him and the guy would walk in the opposite direction. <laughs> so I'm trying to laugh because, you know, so much going on. And uh, I kept telling Clint, be sure and stay away. We went to this one older man's house and 
told Clint, don't get too close to the guy. And he said, I'm trying not to. And I said, because because he was, I think he told Clint he was 80, 83. And, uh, you know, I was just, not for Clint's sake, but for the old man's sake. Man's I didn't sake. want him That's to get anything, whole... you know. And Clint's like, I'm trying to stay away from him. And I said, you have to because, you know, you don't want him if you have something. Because they say you can be a carrier. Yeah, me and him talked about it, too. Yeah, they, they did end up talking and stuff, which was nice. Because the, um, when the guy paid Clint, he was like fixing to shake his hand. And Clint said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to shake your hand. <laughs> Because you just don't know, you know, right now. And the man said, exactly. And he, he was thankful, too, that, you know, Clint was being diligent about not shaking his hand and stuff like that. Cause, but he kind of had the same issue we did, only he had a, a water leak. But he said he was going to have to replace the water heater, too. So he asked Clint if Clint would come and replace his water heater for him. Clint laughed. He's like, I doubt I can even do that. I think I'm going to be dead by the time I get ours. So. so I'm going to go, well, obviously, I'm going ahead and uh, um, okay. inking. Yeah, that. Oh, he's asleep. He's <clears throat> leaning on, leaning off at Clint and on the post, <coughs> hanging over the edge. <laughs> little, little bubba. Little Arctic. Okay. So this one though, I'm gonna have to grab some more, some more paper. This is cardstock that I was gonna try to glue on or print on, but it wouldn't let me. So because I'm gonna have a pocket, this needs to have its own backing. <coughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put that, and then we'll just trim around it. But yeah, I mean, it was kind of nice to get out because we could talk yeah, to a few people. Um, even if, you know, you can't talk, you can't see them too close. And uh, I was talking when I went to pick up our lunch, you know. Of course, I sat across the room while she was getting our lunch together and there was no one else in there. Clint stayed in the car because, you know, you keep hearing don't go in more than one person at a time and all that. So I was talking to her and <clears throat> about the virus and stuff and I asked her, I was telling her where we lived and we hadn't had any uh, confirmed cases yet, you know, and I was told her, oh, we have goats and stuff. And so she said, she's really been wanting to get goats, but she didn't know if she could talk her husband into it. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. And then uh, I told her, well, you know, we used to milk the goats and I would make um, goat milk cheese and goat milk soap and stuff. And I said, now they just mow the lawn. And she said, what? And I said, well, I said, they're really not good for anything other than eating grass. I said, my brother will write me and say, oh, I had to mow the lawn. And I said, oh, me too. And, you know, that just means moving the goats to another area. And she was laughing, and then right before I left, I said, she said, oh, I wonder if I can uh, talk my husband into letting me have them so they can mow the lawn. And I says, well, and if you think about it, they also fertilize. I said, she so laughed so hard, because, you know, she said, oh my gosh, that's right, they do. <laughs> she was laughing so hard, and I just laughed and left. No, <laughs> she I gave know. me my food, but it was we so funny. Yeah, so we do know her. Call and talk to them about it next time we <laughs> but she thought that was the funniest thing. I was like, and they can fertilize the grass hey, at the same know, time. Yeah, yeah, look at all the benefits. <laughs> What's wrong, but baby? It's true. They fertilize as well. I don't know if it, you know. But I thought it was funny. It made her laugh, so maybe it brightened her day. You know, I can imagine, you know, and I've been watching, um, <clears throat> Like how people are with, um, <clears throat> if you're an extrovert, you know, I mean, I do like to talk to people, but I don't see myself as an extrovert. I see myself as a shy person, but I talk to you, but I don't know. People laugh when I say I'm a shy person. <laughs> you ramble. I do ramble. I'm a rambler. 
I think it was Kateri. She's like, you are not shy, but I am Kateri. So then we have a pocket here. So like a secret journaling spot here and a secret journaling spot here and then a pocket here. So that was kind of my idea um, when I was coming up with this. So now let's kind of, you know, make the rest of it. I'm just trying to see what I can this do because what I need is just a, you know, a thicker piece that will kind of go there. Maybe something like that. That would work. Is it? You can go lay down. I don't mind. There will, and then we'll melt that jack or wake up. Okay. Yeah. It'll be nice and quiet in oh, here. Shut up. I'm sitting here being quiet, just talking to the cat. Hmm. That Not wasn't very nice of all. you. I don't know. I don't know what I need. <laughs> You're so funny. They know where you're going. They're probably like, oh, thank goodness Clint's going to take a nap. Oh, that was not nice of you guys to say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that about you. <laughs> Fine, I'm laying down now. I love you, babe. Love you, too. See you after a while. Okay. Good. Of course, she won't back out for a minute. Hey. Okay, see you later. Okay. Bye, to be, guys. <laughs> to be fair, it is 9.30, and he's been awake longer than I have, so. And right now, nobody needs us, so that's nice. But since you guys were saying how nice it'd be without him, he just yeah, going to. you guys got your wish. <laughs> hmm. But, yeah, it was just, it was a nice day, but. She was, she was a fun lady to talk to, and I love to make people laugh. It just makes my day. <clears throat> but it's really funny when you kind of shock them. <laughs> and then leave. It reminds me of that Seinfeld thing where um, George Costanza, he was like, he always tells a joke, and then he walks out the door. Because it makes people, you know, appreciate him. Feel good when he le when he they see him the next time. Okay, so this is going to be here. I kind of like that because it kind of lines up almost. So that'll be kind of cute, even if I don't cover everything up. So then I need one for right here, and it can be a little bit smaller. And actually, that's probably what I cut off. So I think I'm going to use that one. I'm trying to use ones that have. Um, or maybe this one. You know, are a little bit thicker. So. <laughs> if I don't use this, it'll be crooked. Nope. I think I'm good. Yeah. Love you. See you after a while. Okay. Alrighty. But yeah, we got to do our um, hot water heater. Had to wait until we got paid. Took all our money, but you know, not all of it, but a lot of it. <laughs> Big chunk. So it's fine though. Thankfully, all the utilities and stuff are working with people right now. Um, as far as if you're not able to pay your bills and stuff, you don't get. Um, What's it called? You don't get hindered or you don't get... You guys know what I'm talking about. Penalized. That's the word. But yeah. At least all of our, you know, places. My brother said um, they're not necessarily, but I think he was talking about his cell phone and it was it's one of those you had to prepay. And we have one that you know, we pay every month for. But he did say that Danita had to go to the emergency room, my sister-in-law, because um, she still has that catheter and it popped out. And I'm like, uh, now's not, not a good time to go to the emergency room. And 
but the ambulance, I guess, picked her up and brought her back home after, you know, they put it back in. So that was a good thing. I need my, sorry, excuse me. Wait, there we go. To keep that open. Okay, so now, uh, what I like to do is put like a thicker thickness thing on it. So, I know I have some white. Here it is. Oh. Sorry, my back has been spasming today. It's been a wonderful day. <laughs> wonderful couple of days, I guess. So, both of us are like, uh, I don't feel good. <laughs> uh, poor Clanto, he's really hurting. And it's talking to my friend yesterday, and I was going to go help Clint pull the um, hot water heater up the steps. We have like five steps. And I came out, and he'd already pulled it up by himself, and it's like 150 pounds. Didn't use a dolly or anything, and it was already in the house when I came out after feeding my critters their treats. I'm like, I was going to help you with that. But he doesn't listen. <laughs> you guys already know that, don't ya? He's very stubborn. But yeah, so he pulled it all the way up the steps by himself. And with his back, he's like, oh. <laughs> I tell you, it's too funny. It wasn't funny. I was like, honey, I could have helped you with that. Now I think that one is too big. Uh, but yeah. But so it's right inside the door. Still in the box. And the cats have been jumping on top of that box. They think it's the most fun thing since sliced bread. Just kidding, the cats don't know anything about sliced bread since tuna fish, that's what it would be. I'm just jabbering today. <clears throat> but yeah, we haven't, you know, had any issues with our family or anything lately. So I think everyone's doing, doing well. I haven't heard from Lida, my mother-in-law. So we need to call and check on her, but my niece that had um, COVID is up there near her. I think, you know, if something was going on, my niece would tell us because she stays in contact with my mother-in-law or my, yeah, my mother-in-law. Her grandmother is what I was thinking. So what I, what I'm doing is, I know you're like what is she doing I'm just kind of making a little just a thing I thought it would be easier maybe like that you could use like um, um, what am I thinking you could use double-sided uh, foam tape that would work anything just to build it up a little bit and I'll show you why if you're new but I just like it to have a clearance that's why that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to just put a little bit of glue I still love this glue Deborah it just is really really nice and sticky and everything I've glued has nothing has popped back up I was using that uhu glue so I'm just using that here and it really holds really nice I'm really really impressed with it definitely going to be my glue stick of choice I think Let's see if I can get it to stay here of course, I talk about it now, and it probably won't stay. <laughs> That's okay. 
That's okay. So I don't really expect a loss on Friday. My weight loss. I don't know if I just am having an issue. Well, and it was Clint's birthday. And so I ate like all my free points because you get like um, like 35 points that you can spread out through the week. And I do better if I spread them out, you know, and eat like, because my daily points is 23. I know this is boring, but you know, I don't have anything else to talk about. And so my points are 23 daily, but I do better if I take like five extra points of that weekly. Um, my weekly points and eat them like on a daily basis instead of eating them all at one time which is what I did last week because I ate um, some of Clint's birthday cake and so now I'm going over like two or three <laughs> every day so I don't know if I'm gonna have a loss or not but you know for having a loss almost every week it's not too bad you know not too bad of a thing but it's just really hard to um, stay on track, I guess, when I don't have those extra, you know, daily points and stuff. So I'm going to trim that here. But what this is going to do is just kind of give us a, um, a lip. I'll show you. I'll show you. one. I kind of want it like that. But yeah, so it's kind of hard to stay on my points. Which I could probably have a loss if I just stick to zero point items. Which, you know, there's a lot of zero point items like fruit is zero. Vegetables for the most part other than potatoes are zero chicken, breast, stuff like that is zero fish is zero. So I might be able to squeak out a, a, a little bit of a weight loss, I hope. Wish me luck. <laughs> Still have two days, so well, today and tomorrow. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is see, so this will kind of attach to something and then we'll slide it in and then it'll be kind of raised. So what I need to do is find some pieces for this and I have an idea so I'll be right back. Okay so I have a manila folder and what I'm going to do is just kind of cut this and I decided to use this because it has that fold and it's just such a nice fold. Uh, if you didn't have a manila folder with a nice fold in it like this, I'm trying to see where I scored that. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. You could um, you could use like scrapbook paper and maybe have two pieces and put a hinge on it. But I want it to like slide in really nicely and not have a bunch of bulk. So that's why I was thinking about um, this folder. It's a little bit wide, <laughs> so because it's so flat, you know, and I thought, you know, I could use that. Get that in there, like that. And then I'm just gonna trim it, like right there. Oops. It's a little bit tighter than I, than I thought. I don't know if I'm cutting it for a spot or not. So yeah, it, it will go in here like this. And then, <coughs> this one will attach here. So it will attach on that and then it will go in. So I'm gonna pull that out. Let's attach that to the back. 
but I was telling Clint yesterday, we're driving around and I says, you know, it almost feels like just a normal work day. You know, it's kind of like you're le you left all the stuff behind, you know, we're just kind of driving. It's just a beautiful day out and you know, where you didn't have to really stress about, um, the virus and things that are going on. It was just a little bit of normalcy. And you know, I think we all need that, especially during this time, because it's not something, you know, a lot of us are seeing right now. And I don't know when we'll see, you know, but it was just like, I mean, we had four jobs and we're just having, you know, a nice time just going and looking at spring and the birds and things like that. It was just a nice, normal, feeling to it which was really you know I think I needed that <laughs> so that will go in there and then when you pull it out you can open it up and you can journal so I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and then whoever gets this if they want to decorate it they can but I really wanted it to be a really flat fold so that it wasn't um, you know bulky, I guess. So, I want to go ahead and do this one, too. So, let's see. So, I think if I do it on either side of this, it will work. But, yeah, it was, it was just kind of a fun, normal feel day. So, you know, I really enjoyed that. And, you know, even because we went and got lunch and, um, you know, a lot of times we'll do that and then we'll go like up in the mountains and stuff. And it just felt like a normal day to me. Like every spring does, you know. <clears throat> so, that's just me jabbering. But I, I think we all desperately need that this time of year. <laughs> of, you know, what's going on in the world. Uh-oh, is it that cold? My feet are freezing. Huh. So, and someone get, got my pillow, oh. and of course knocked it off and got my earphones out of it. Oh. <laughs> yep. That's by the way, she's out too. She came out. Chloe did? I don't know. She'll see if she goes back in. I was going to say, I hope she goes back in, because I don't want to hear... Her. When yeah. she comes out, everybody's just yelling and at each other and stuff. I think that will work. It's nice. And then we'll put this one... Actually, I might want to trim that down just a little bit so that it doesn't, like, go over. Because I want to make it, like, a true secret area. Sorry, this is taking up almost the whole video, huh? But that's okay. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not going to show everything I do on, on here. I might, um, I'm hoping to have this done and up for tomorrow sure that's the right opening and I might uh, I'm gonna put this up a little bit higher I don't want it to be too high and it's not like I can trim down the bottom you know but um, I might like still go ahead and put it up tomorrow and then if there's something I want to show you guys, it'll come like in a future video. So like if I, you know, had something like this I wanted to show you. And I didn't do a video before it went up for sale, it'll come, you know, kind of, kind of thing. If that makes sense. But there we go. And see that kind of is level. And unless, you know, someone's digging through and looking at your stash they're not really going to see that so now I did want to go ahead and put like a um, thing there and see we still have these all of our pieces so pretty I love these but I'm going to decorate these I probably won't decorate those on camera because probably what I'll do is just put some lace and just a little bit so I'm, I'm gonna show that it's easy enough you know that you guys don't have to see that I'm gonna put some charms on here uh, I'm gonna put a tassel on here 
because I have all that really pretty um, uh, theme binding that I just got. I really want to use that. So, that stuff. And then, did I talk about lace? I'm going to put some lace on the edges. So, because I really feel like this one needs lace. But like this, you know, I would probably just pop it in here. And maybe the other one I would pop in the back. Like that. I love that. So pretty. And then I need some pockets. I don't have any pockets. So I was going to use um, like maybe some of this paper that Clint had made. So he kind of made it in... Um, Cut it. Let me use my good scissors. <laughs> but it was um, on fabric. And I thought, you know, I could use that instead of wasting it or something, just make it into like a little pocket. You know, I think that would be really cute. So that was one of my other ideas. Let me see what else I wrote down. Okay, I wrote that down here. Oh, I want to do one of those. Let's do those pockets online. I mean, these, I'll probably just back them on some cardstock and just glue them in. So that's not, you know, that big of a deal. And then I want to make, let's see. I did want to use these papers for that. Like I said, I had to glue them to, um, but maybe this one. Okay, yeah, let's, I don't know, but I love this um, rose pattern. And I want some pockets. I think they'd be really pretty with this kind of trimmed out like this. So we'll just kind of fussy cut. up to where I, I think I need it, you know. <clears throat> Sorry. My sinuses have been bothering me. That's one good thing is, you know, they're like posting things about exactly what the virus is, you know, and what it isn't. So like if you have itchy eyes or itchy nose, you know, that's more allergies than a symptom of the virus and things like that so that's kind of nice and I try not to watch a bunch of news and stuff especially right now it just irritates me and stresses me so I try to I've been reading a lot thank you Lizette for my book I love it but yeah it's I'm a reader I love to read and Whenever I can escape for a little bit, that's what I'm doing. So I guess I may as well just <laughs> cut the whole thing out. I hadn't planned on that, but all I needed was about six inches. Okay. That will work. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim that down. I think I want it like five inches, so, but I love, you know, the, the edge of that, that is so pretty. So there's about five inches, and I kind of want the edge, so I'm going to cut it probably right there. But you know what, I think I need to cover, cut the cut this so I kind of get a straight straight edge okay cut it down just a little bit further so like that. and then how tall is that let's see it's eight like I said I only wanted about six 
think I'll cut off the top instead of the bottom. I kind of like the, the leaves and stuff on the bottom. So, I'm going to cut it like this. Just about six inches. Yeah, like that. I kind of like that. That's pretty. And I might do, you know, more than one pocket in here, but we'll see. And then I have all these, you know, that I thought we could kind of decorate and put on there. So I thought that would be really pretty. But I kind of want something kind of similar to this, like sitting on top of this. A little bit different, but, you know, that's kind of what I'm going for. <coughs> So we're going to kind of look, look through here. Like I have this big butterfly. And I have these. Ooh, that's pretty, huh? I kind of like all the flowers. Those are pretty. I really like that. And then maybe some ribbon or something right there. Yeah, like some pink ribbon. Hey, ask and you shall receive. Look, that'll be perfect. Okay, I'm liking it already. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just felt like it was so empty right there that it needed, needed something. I think it has a right side and a not right side. So I'm going to wrong side, I guess. Put that like there. Cool. Again, I'm just using my art glitter glue. Uh, it's my favorite glue. used to be the only glue I used, but now I use a little bit of Fabri-Tac when things are just a little bit too bulky. And I'm kind of concerned about, you know, them laying down the way I want them to and stuff. But other than that, it's just this one. Okay, like that. it with that there. Let's go ahead and ink around it. I do like to ink when I think about it. Hope you all are doing well. Like I said, we've been busy. I mean, you know, not necessarily with work, but at home and dealing with um, the hot water heater, which is what we'll be doing this afternoon, and things like that. Really busy, and then, I mean, people are still calling Clint. In fact, he keeps forgetting to call this one guy he called from the Cortez School District and he needs a bunch of lines located. I think he forgot again. <laughs> but he told me yesterday, he said, I'm not going to do it until Thursday, so maybe he'll, you know, run down and do it in the morning if the guy still needs him. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the businesses aren't really calling us. It's more homeowners and stuff like that that you know their water's out or something like that they that they need and the businesses can't help them but the businesses aren't doing a lot of work right now which is good um i think because of you know the stay-at-home order and everything but 
when you're run when you don't have water and you need help getting it back on you know on then <clears throat> can't find your underground lines and stuff then yeah that's what Clint has to has to do and that's what he was doing yesterday it was pretty much all emergency locates for homeowners or for small businesses you know that kind of do that type of work okay so I kind of liked that one there I think and then that one there I haven't decided that doesn't look bad but kind of like the yellow more like that and then we have that piece there I wouldn't mind a piece of lace here I think that would be really pretty so let's see what I have here um Just a small, small little piece. <coughs> but yeah, it was just, it was just a nice day yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Today I woke up, uh, Sophia, which I knew she was going to scream all night because we weren't home for a lot of the day. And so last night she was up all night it felt like and got up to love on her and went and got a pair of cleanse earplugs and I was like I've got to get some sleep <laughs> but man she just stays outside the door and just cries and cries and cries and I know it's because she didn't get enough loving you know we've kind of come to that conclusion that if she doesn't get enough love but it didn't wake Clint up. He was really tired yesterday from doing all that work and stuff. And it didn't wake him up, which I was thankful for. And then he got up this morning pretty early. And uh, <clears throat> then I woke up and, boy, I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I slept on the couch for a little bit. Because I was up all night with her. <laughs> Because, yeah, you know, you have the um, earplugs and stuff, but sometimes it doesn't really work very well. You can still hear some stuff if it's really loud. And these, um, the way they expand, they kind of make my ears hurt. Because it's like they're too wide for my ear. So my ears would start throbbing, so I'd pull them out, and then she'd start crying again, so then I'd put them back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun night fun night like always maybe something like this so it's not so um like matchy matchy i don't know about that i don't know i kind of like that i feel like there's still something i need in the background you know i just feel like it's too um too clean or something. Maybe something like that. That's just a scrap I had. And then I also have this scrap too, huh? I'm just gonna tear it down because I don't need it all to show. Okay, so but I have decided that maybe I am a little bit of an extrovert because man when I am <laughs> I never thought I was I always thought I was an introvert but man when I um, you know like people said it's totally different when you have to stay home compared to you want to stay home and I've missed people <laughs> that like the human interaction I do go down to the post office and talk to my friend but yesterday she was busy so I couldn't talk to her <laughs> so I'm using this for my interaction I guess my YouTube channel 
because I miss you guys. I miss people. But it's funny because Clint was the same way yesterday. I don't know if he even noticed, but he was like, we'd go to do a locate and he'd sit there and talk to him for like half an hour. Just, you know, social dis distance area and stuff, but he would just sit there and just talk. And I was thinking, yeah, he's missing people too. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this little piece of lace like here just for a little bit of interest. But yeah, I was thinking, boy, I bet he's doing the same thing, you know. And probably the people that we ran into or, you know, ended up talking to and stuff were feeling the same way, you know. Like the little man, he's 83 or whatever, but his wife was in Arizona. And so he really had no one to talk to. Which, you know, we've come across a lot in, in our um, years locating. Sometimes, especially like an older couple or something, they'll sit there and talk to you for like an hour. And we know that, you know, they just need someone to talk to. That's kind of pretty. I like that. Something up there, huh? Maybe like this. That's pretty. Let's see what else I have. Oh, yeah. We could do that. Just need a little bit something else. <coughs> But yeah, you know, I told Clint, we're becoming those people that need someone to talk to. <laughs> uh, I tell you guys. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Just a little something to kind of break up all the pink and add a little bit of background. I could use my glue stick, but... I just don't want that plain, you know, background or whatever. Okay. I really like that, actually. So, let's go ahead and glue this down. My brother did say that he, uh, and, you know, my sister-in-law was taken home, and she's fine. Got everything situated, and then he did say that they found some flour, so... That was good because he's like, mail me some flour. I'm thinking as soon as I mail it, you'd be able to find it, which he would have. <laughs> and I would have been irritated that I spent 20 some bucks on, you know, five pounds of flour. <clears throat> so, where's the other one? Oh geez, Michelle, seriously, you lost it. Maybe, oh no, that was it, huh? I like that better having, you know, a little bit of background right there. I really like that. So, I'm just gonna glue it down. Sorry guys, this is probably longer than I typically do, but had so much to say today. <laughs> uh, was it this one I wanted to use? Let's see. I'm trying to see. Yeah, that's the one I originally, um, but maybe I could put this one like here. Okay, I kind of like that. This one's already been inked. it out anyways. And this one. So I'm not exactly sure when this journal will go up, but I will do a flip through before it goes up. And then um, I try to, you know, put it like three or four hours later after the video goes up so if the video goes up like at 11 i won't put 
it for sale until like three or four just so people have plenty of time to see the video and then go and from there you know right now that's working really well and it gives everyone kind of um, <clears throat> time to see the video and decide if they want it and to watch for it you know so I haven't really you know planned on like doing it the, the next day or anything it's just that day because it works for me so. so I like that what do you guys think so let's go ahead and glue that in our journal like I said it's a pocket so let's kind of see what we have decorated and where we need a pocket and then I also have these two pieces from um, Rachel that I did. I might make those into pockets too. That's really pretty. Like that. Maybe there. So, I like to just kind of look through the front and the back of the signature just to kind of see that they're a little bit um, spursed throughout the journal. This one I have one here that's kind of in the front of that one. This one's in the back, so probably I don't need a whole bunch there. Let's see what the back one looks like. So let's put this one back here because so far all it has is this. So let's see. But this is going to be a pocket. Okay, so I'm just going to just hit these edges with a little bit of glue. I love that. I love these colors, the green and the pink. It's just so pretty. And then, didn't I have something that I trimmed off and I thought, oh, that would be perfect for a tag. Oh, this one. Might be too, too uh, small, though. But really, that would work pretty well, huh? I think it would. Let's trim it down real quick. Let's see what we can come up with real quick. I know this is long. Sorry, guys. But I made it super long since we missed uh, yesterday. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just a talker today. Uh, okay, was that two? You know, I could do that into a. Let's see what we can do with that real quick. It's a little. No, ma'am. Kind of like that. Chloe or Sophie is coming over, and here she is. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. <laughs> told you she was really demanding right now <laughs> and then when we come back and let, like I said unless I have something really you know special I want to show you guys um, I won't show any more of this decorating of this journal but we will come back I still have a lot of decorating I want to do and uh, yeah so I guess we'll just call it good for now but if I see something else I might put it in you know a video or two after the fact of this one getting sold so anyways thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> be sure and hit that subscribe button for more kitty videos oh geez give this video a thumbs up it helps out our channel and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye can you say bye
Can you say bye? She's like, nope, I got my mama. That's all I need. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.